Okay, so now we're going to start putting some details on the engine. These little squares are parts of the um, rock arm covers, and you have to sort of, um, you can see when you turn them over on the right side, you can see where they're supposed to be bends. So I'm putting a little bends on the underside with the exacto blade, the, the dull end, the non-blade end. And then I'm picking this up and carefully grabbing it with pliers, or those are tweezers, dummy, and then folding it over where those bends are. This ends up making like a little tiny rectangle, and then a little wire is going to go through the middle of it to uh, approximate some of the, the rock arm accoutrements on the top of this top of this engine. This engine, by the way, when we're done with it, is not exactly what I'd call accurate. Well, what was that about? Um, but it still looks cool once it's done. So now I'm just gluing it on the top. Now I'm taking this wire and I am putting it through. Um, it's supposed to be a thicker diameter in real life, but this is what fits and easily. And again, this is just supposed to sort of give you an indication there's an engine in there. When it's done, it looks pretty neat. Um, I fish it through, and it has to protrude out a little ways because you got to add something to the front. Now watch what happens when I clip this off. I think I'm being smart here. Now watch what happens over on the left. Bam! It fires off into oblivion. I, I was able to get a new one. But now I found a, a fun way to shoot people with my wire. This little piece is folded. Um, it's very intuitive, but this is a piece that's part of the, um, I guess, uh, intake manifold, and that goes down at the base of the engine by the cylinders, and there's no place on the plans to tell you where it's supposed to go, really. I mostly use pictures of the real, the real thing. Um, the plans actually show it, but there's no indication on the parts. So once that's in there, it's starting to look more and more you know, a little beautified, start to look more and more like an engine. Now, this part really confused the bejeebers out of me. This thing that fits on top of the engine, I have no idea what it is. And I don't see it on a real pictures of the real engine. So I think this is sort of made up or it's, or it's um, uh, interpreted slightly differently than the real thing. But I'm using the parts because I wanted to use the parts from the kit. So on the plans, there's this thing that looks like a clock right on the front of the engine. And you can see those two round pieces I've cut out. Um, I'm trying to figure out what all this stuff is. That piece is one of the faces of the clock, and I think it faces forward. Um, the beige one on the right fits on the other side, right on that side of this round clock. And that round clock is this thing. It's a, it's a, you can see I've already glued it together. It's a strip. And cut it out and... Um, glued it together, and that's where those two other little clock faces are going to go. And there I'm pointing out a hole that's going to be for a piece that goes on top. There's also this little piece of uh, metal um, wire that I've bent that goes on the very front that connects some piping, and that's going to that's gonna go in the front. So there's some openings, holes for those. And you have to orient these clock faces, I'm calling them, um, so that things make sense. So you got to make sure that when there's a little dot there, and that is, I think, where that um, radiator pipe is supposed to go. So anyway, that's what I'm working with, and that's what I'm trying to decipher. And then the long rocker arm piece goes into the hole right there on that little beige guy. Uh, again, there's no indication of which part goes where, but we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. And then that there's a hole there that's going to fit on that front wire that I bent and we'll become clear as we move along. So once you think you know what you're doing, which again is a stretch, um, put some glue on there and then you just pop one of those clock faces on. In my case I'm starting I think, with the beige one and I just make sure that because there should be a little uh, rocker arm cover wire that goes through the top and make sure the top hole right there on the tippy top right there is facing up and then i do the same thing on the other side but the side that's that black mesh side i have to make sure that its little hole is on the lower end um, opposite um, on the bottom essentially it'll align with the seam at the bottom um, because that's where that piece of wire fits in there and again this is all divined um, magically from just studying the plans a lot because uh, um, finally I think figured out how it goes. 
Um, anyway, put that on. Make sure it's straight and true. Make sure it's vertical. Make sure the hole is where it's supposed to be, or the eventual hole is where it's supposed to be. And um, you're good to go. So take a little time to make sure that's completely aligned and clean and nice in there. Now, that piece has to go in that little hole. That's that piece on the tip there. It's going to fit in there, just like that. So to do that, i got to make a little hole in the front. And that piece is for that, which is a which is a little tiny cylinder that I rolled that's going to be on the top of the engine. Didn't show rolling that one, but it's just rolling into a tight little little piece. It's a very small piece, so it's not that hard to roll. And then that hole there on the bottom of the mesh is where that little wire yoke fits. So anyway, you got to uh, drill a couple of holes. So I use an X-Acto blade. You can use a little micro drill, but an X-Acto blade works just fine for this application. Just be real careful because you don't want to just stove it in. Um, and then I just sort of test fitted it. And look, that fits right on like that. Again, I have no idea what that piece is supposed to be. Um, couldn't find a picture of a Mercedes engine with that on there. But hey, I think it looks, as I, I say later, kind of steampunk. So I have a little bit of super glue in this case. Stick it into that little hole. And snaps right in place. And then you just make sure it's straight before it dries. Make sure the holes are all where they're supposed to be in a line. It looks good. So it's ready to go to the next phase, which in this case is drilling a little tiny hole into the top of that thing I just put on, because that's where this little piece in my between my index and my thumb are. Put a little glue on that, put that down, push it down until it looks about like the plan does um, in terms of how much is above. And you just put it in there and let it dry. Make sure it's straight. Um, that I had do see on, or something similar, on the real engine. So that's actually supposed to be there. I just don't know what that clock is doing there. Um, now I'm trying to decipher, add that little piece of wire I've bent, but I'm also trying to figure out what goes on the top of that piece I just put in. And the only thing I can find is this little piece over here, which is a strip um which i pull off here it's that piece i'm pulling off and i cut that out basically um, off camera and then rolled it and, and glued it together and i think that is going to be the little crown piece that goes on the top so there i rolled it glued it together now i gotta drill a hole in it see so that little piece right on top that piece is the last piece i'm gonna put on um, there but I have to put this little collar on the top. And so in order to do that, I have to drill um, um, a little hole into that because it's going to have to um, connect to that piece of wire. So to do that, I put it on a toothpick and then that gives me some backing and I can go ahead and drill a hole quite easily through there. Now I add a little glue onto that top pipe um, and drop that sleeve over it, making sure that the hole is facing forward, because that's where that other C-shaped wire is going to go. Um, delicate operation, but not bad. Just make sure it looks good. It, the, the little pipe protrudes out a little bit, so you want to make sure you uh, um, get it so that it looks good. And make it so you have to make it so that the distance in the C and the wire is going to be the same. And I think I've done that. Let that dry a second. It's got super glue, so it dries pretty fast. Now I'm ready to try and install that jobby, which is another piece of piping that goes between those two holes. Bam, bam. So now you can see why those holes had to be drilled. So add a little super glue, pop that baby on there. This took a while, by the way, to make this work. Um, it's the beauty of editing, but it finally did. And now you end up with an engine that looks pretty cool. Um, what's left to do on it really is to put on spark plug wires um, uh, little little uh, tubing to hold the wires in place and the exhaust manifold